Hi, Dero Doers. In this new video, we'll learn about SEPA credit transfers. SEPA is the European transaction system that harmonizes how cashless euro payments are made across Europe. Some non-European countries have their own equivalent transaction systems, such as NACHA payments in the US. These often follow similar steps to what we'll see in this video, but be sure to check out our written documentation for more detailed instructions. There are two types of SEPA payments in Odoo, outgoing ones, SEPA credit transfer, and incoming ones, SEPA direct debit. Today, we'll focus on outgoing payments, SEPA credit transfers, which can be one-time transfers or recurring payments. Within the SEPA area, we can process transfers in a safer and faster way thanks to a unique and single system that adopts the same standards all over Europe. In Odoo, setting up this feature is very convenient, so let's go over how we handle SEPA transactions here at Bloom. First, we register the payments related to the open vendor bill. We then group those payments as a batch payment, and thanks to the batch, we can generate the XML file that we can then submit to our bank. With this method, we don't have to manually record payments one by one on the bank platform, but instead we upload just one file to list all the payments we would like to make uh, to the bank and they make it from our account. Let's take a look at how to configure this in Odoo. The first thing we'll do in Odoo is open the accounting app and then go to configuration and settings. And here we'll search for SEPA. And we want to make sure that the SEPA credit transfer feature is activated and that our company name, identification, and issuer are all filled out. Doing this will create a SEPA payment method for our bank journal. So let's go into that journal and check it out by clicking on configuration and journal and going into the bank journal. We can see in our outgoing payment tab that we have this SEPA credit transfer payment method. And to make sure that this is ready to use, we have just a few more steps. So the first is to go into the journal entries tab and make sure that the IBAN number is entered into the account number field. Next, we'll go to the vendor who we plan to pay via SEPA credit transfer. So we'll go to our vendors and vendors, and we can open the plant world contact record. And in the accounting tab, we can see that we have created a bank account for this vendor so that the file that we send to our bank can tell them where to send that payment. Now we're ready to register some payments. So let's go to vendors and bill. And on these last two, we will just click into them, register the payment. We want to make sure that we use the journal that has this SEPA credit transfer configured and we will create the payment. And also important is that when we're registering these payments is that we have that recipient bank account field for our vendor completed. Now we can go look at these two payments by going into vendors payment. And we'll select these last two most recent ones that we just paid and we will create a batch. Once we click validate, you can see in the chatter, it has generated the XML file that we can then upload to our bank's portal and they'll make the payments for us. We can even create one batch payment that includes multiple payments to multiple vendors, but it's important to note that even if you only have just one payment that you want to send, you still need to create a batch payment so that we can generate this XML file. You can always access the XML either through this regenerate export file button or in the chatter here. That's all for today from your pal Dal. I'll see you soon.